Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chassidus in the morning. 15 minutes to change our lives. Start off by giving tzedakah. Good day, tzedakah. And we're going to be doubling for. We're for Shalema for Tinoik Ben Rina Shulamis Ahuva. It's Hashem. Everything should go well. Should be very healthy. And Admev Esrim. Also, we're going to dub for all the hostages. And specifically, we want to focus on Yeshi Ben Halia and all the soldiers and all the people in Israel, especially the craziness that's going on. And the Israelis should do what they need to do to make the people safe. It should be a safe country, Bagashris. And also for all of us, and through our Veda of learning Chassidus and applying Chassidus, will make the difference. Okay. We're going to finish off the, the second ice in Maimer Tess, Maimer Chav Hei. We're coming to the end. Okay. I know. Kasher Adam who roi al pi maisa b'teir mitzvahs when a person is according to the teir mitzvahs. But we're talking about how we have to do that very throughout the time. Make ourselves a keli. And all our void on Mishan and Kippur, that's what makes us the proper Kali for that for getting the Pinasa. And it's not the daily grind. That's just the clear. I know Kasher Adam who royal P my subtery mitzvahs for Chesed El Yoin. Person is fitting according to his actions with Tay Mitzvah and the Chesed El Yoin. The Chesed El Yoin to the Chesed, the kindness from above. Hey, oh, the Nimsha Chesed in my Atika. Kadisha, then he draws down the chesed from Atika Kadisha, which is a very high level, above ke- by Kesem, above Chachma. Ayidei Zerus, Shiris Atzilus, through arousing the Shir of Atzilus, Kanal. Kamaimer, like we said in the Maimer of Dalad, Perg Aleph. Lamachus Atzilus, the Yerid Nimshach, Mislabes, Kalim, the Sphere's debris in the Sia. And it goes from Malchus of Atzilus, which is the lowest level of Atzilus, which is what it makes it be able to come down to the lower levels. And it keeps on going down and becoming more physical. And it gets drawn down and it gets enclosed below through our work. And then even a little bit of work you're doing is enough. And again, what, what, what we're showing, what the Rebbe Hashab is showing us, that if we understand that what we're getting is coming from our Veda, our Torah Mitzvahs, our connection with Hashem, that's the Iker. And the secondary thing is the work. So therefore, our whole approach to work is very different. And the approach to work is much simpler, meaning, let me just do what's right. Let me not stress about it. When I when I finish, I'm... I'm I'm coming home to my kids. I don't have to stress about it. I can, I'm good because I'm 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 safe with the knowledge that doing the right thing, and learning and davening, and making sure to have times to do those things. That's what's going to help me be successful. <coughs> if God forbid, we're not fitting to get that chesed. That the chesed from Matzil is not being drawn down. I know the me yoimar he should loy nimshach chas v'shalom kitzas chesed v'rosh hashanah yom kippurim klal. Chas v'shalom shouldn't happen. Any of it come. What happens if that happens? El afilu gam im nimshach l'mayla b'malchut atzilus. But even if it does, you get it. But it comes to malchut atzilus. Hine im ein a nimshach umitztayer. But even if it's in Malchus of Atzilus, but if it doesn't come down to the lower worlds, in a way that can actually come out in a physical way, it's not going to help all the work you do. Meaning, he just, he's saying a theoretical idea. That if there's not a lot of chesed being come down to you, it's going to be irrelevant how much work you do. You think, we think to ourselves, I'll work more and I'll make more money. And he's saying that that if it's just chesed, if the chesed is not there, 
It doesn't matter how much work you're going to do. It's not going to get anything. And and this is it's unfortunate. But this is something I have to realize. Like, and again, a lot of these things, you can't necessarily put your finger on it. Someone, it might be, like, like, also, the definition of having a lot of Parnasa doesn't necessarily mean you have a lot of money. It means, it means how the money that you have is used, how much you have to spend on other things. You know, a person could be making, uh, you know, $500,000 a year, but they're spending $200,000 on the loss, whatever, on, on uh, therapy. So it's like, whereas someone else could be making only $200,000 a year, but they're not spending any money on therapy. So we don't know how these calculations work. That's the reality. But the point of what he's saying is he's trying to prove the point that we have to recognize that what's going to make us successful, of course, we have to do work. But the Iker, what's going to make us successful is the davening and the learning and the doing the Torah mitzvahs and trying to connect to Hashem. That's the main thing. Secondary to that, we have to work. And of course, we have to work. and we work hard and do it w- w- right. You can't sit there and just do nothing and expect Panasa to come. That's what we said. Hashem will bless you everything that you do. So we have to do stuff. And we have to do stuff naturally. You can't sit there and say, I'm going to uh, sweep the floor outside my apartment building and expect to make, you know, $500,000 a year. And it's like, oh, but I'm doubling and learning very well. Yeah, of course, but you have to go according to nature. You have to walk in there, but you have to recognize, and this is sort of the challenge, you have to do all the natural things, but together they have to recognize that that's just the clear. And like we said before, the way to know you're on the right track is how does it affect your other things in life? If it's time, if if my my work is taking me so much that I don't have time to dive in or learn properly, so that's not so good. If it's causing that that when I'm when I'm diving and learning, I, I can't think about it. I'm thinking about work or my home. I'm stressed. It's no good. We have to, and that's what we, that's what we're trying to show. We have to recognize that Hashem is in charge and we got to do whatever we can do and and not stress and, and make sure our Torah mitzvahs are good. The better we work on that, the better it is. Yeah, we did that. Okay, so the Gemara says, Okay, that's the Gemara. Okay, the Gemara. The Gemara. The Gemara. The main thing is, she yeh masel the lakush be given over to godliness. Okay, she nimshach bechinas hachesed elyon and when it's drawn down this level of chesed elyon, he ne birchas Hashem he sashi the brach of Hashem will make you rich. Gabim at is like even with a little bit of work. And that's why some people they don't have to work so much and they make a lot of money. It's not because it's not the work, it's it's the bracha, and that's what we should focus on. Figuring out, making sure that we're making the right kalim for the bracha, making the right. Bring doing the right things so we have the opportunity for the bracha. <laughs> Kitzur. Levushe <laughs> atzeva the garments of nature. Hagam shehem al pi seder shalim shalomaylo. Even though they go according to the order of above. Hine heim malim oid. Nevertheless, that's all. Either that's what's meant to be, but still they can still. And in truth, him rock, levush, move up, but really only just garments. She ain't la arich for him. There's no need to to marich for him to go at length with them. La ikka hu elikus, the main thing is godliness. Hashefeya, the tsarich, elikus hashefeya. Really, it's all the godliness that gives. The tsarich li yais, zai, but fill with tibur, of him is in sinus, the likboya, itimatea. So, therefore, we have to be very careful, making sure. In, in for men davening with the minion and having time to learn tero, but to make sure we have set times for our Judaism. Yiddishkeit is an important part of our lives. That's what we need to do. Every day we should have a time to learn. And hopefully it's more than 15 minutes. 15 minutes is very good, but it should be a little more than that. And we have to make sure to have some time to daven, some time to connect with our godly soul, to connect to Hashem. The Kasher Chasushal Me'ena Roy. But when it's not fitting, when you don't do this thing, you're not fitting vessel to receive. You're not going to gain a lot, even with a lot of work. But when you are fitting, but when you are fitting, even a little bit of work you'll do, you'll be very wealthy.
Ya. Perk Gimel. Vehine. And behold. Kama vekama mi balei asakim. There are people, business people. Mival, mival, avido, people that do avido, mulacha, and work. Shehem, yelikim, the chaviv, alein tvila, they fear Hashem. Chir alein tvila, and davening is very important to them. The chayd, and so too. Hakivius, it's in the Torah. The setting aside times for Torah. Abishurim, shayin with different types of classes. Nigla, we're just learning Nigla, learning Halacha and, and the Gemara. Ubadach, and with, with, uh, Chsidus, Alibam, Ya, Yichav, Aleim, Oid, and the heart bothers them very much. Kishae, Nam Yechelim, Lisbala, Betsibu, when, because of their work, they're not able to dive with the minion. And they're not able to set us a time to learn Torah publicly in group settings, which is a very nice thing. <coughs> and it bothers them very much. And from them, they put a lot of effort to try to daven with with Betzibur, with the minion. And therefore, they cut their davening, meaning they, they rush their davening. And then, yeah, when they're running to go to their jobs, they daven, they make a quick davening, and then they rush through it. And therefore, it also to have some time to learn Torah, they don't even have a thought of such a thing. They're so... It's the opposite. They're so like running to get to work and do all these things. They don't have time for davening properly and time for learning properly. Because besides the fact they're very busy, they don't have any time to learn. They're totally consumed by their work. And the physical things. Not be able to receive any words of Torah. They're totally consumed. They're not, they're not able to think out of it. And also their davening is filled. Can't think when they're davening. It's filled with different thoughts. It's like when someone davens from an estuary and they come back. And they have all these ideas. Because uh, when they're damaged essay, they're not thinking. And this is a big issue, you know. I can speak myself. I also have this issue. It's not easy. Or I make it not easy, maybe. Ah, she come up on them sometimes. Built ma They don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they're saying. You know where I'm to. He's like suddenly like, did I even say that? Like, whoa. Like you suddenly look five pages later. You turn, you're like. I don't remember saying everything before this. Did I say that? And it's like, whoa, where have I been? Rak Masig Misigra. The Lishna, he nays, if they say him, not is, the Lib, the Libam al Bal Imam. But because we've stayed down so much, you just, you know, so you just say it, you can say Balpe. I don't know what they're saying, you know, think about it. They're hard, they're somewhere else, they're thinking about all these things. Hakabalas el mispalon. Nevertheless, they do have Kabbalah so to daven. Could be even worse. They don't even daven. Like, oh, I'm wasting my time mumbling some words. I'm not even going to daven. The tibur al kopanim, and even with the minion, v'yesh lahet shehem trudim kol kach ad asher rak v'shenim v'chamishi bayim mispal b'tzim. Some people so bad that only on Mondays and Thursdays they can daven with the minion when there's leaning. Yeah. We'll stop here and it goes on to the next part. But basically, what we're showing is we, we bring it down again, more practical. And for some people, 
they really want to dive in and learn and they try and they try to make sure with government dominion and do all these things, even though they have work. And it and it's really hard for them. But then some people are totally consumed by the work, they don't even have time for this. They don't even imagine they'll have any time for such things. And I guess we have to ask ourselves, are we giving ourselves enough time to dive in properly and to learn properly and to connect with our, our Yiddish kite and connect with Hashem? And we have to realize that connecting with Hashem is not going to take away, it's going to add. If we want to have more Parnassah, let's say you have a job, you're working, and you work well, you do it all. You want to make your, get a raise, the first thing you should do is work on your davening and learning. There's so many shulchim talk about how, how when they were struggling, they worked on on davening and learning properly and adding in those things, doing Rambam, Shluchim talk about it a lot. I know Shleach, he said he was in crazy amounts of debt. They started working on it and started getting help. And one of the things he worked on is his Rambam. He caught up 180 prakim. That is a lot. And he caught up. And I thought it was amazing. What he was saying, what he was showing, is that it's very much connected. Baruch Hashem now is in a much better situation and everything is way better. It just flipped everything. He was in millions of dollars of debt. Like millions of dollars of debt. It's crazy. And now Baruch Hashem, he got rid of all of it and it's everything much better. But one of the things he did was focus on davening and learning. And we have to realize davening and learning, the time that we daven and learn is, is an investment in our parnasa. Anyway, everyone should have a good day. And yeah, we'll be in touch.